Adam Payne here and in this video you are going to learn how to take a piece of PLR content and repurpose it into multiple pieces of content so that you can get more exposure, more leads and potentially make more money. And it's really going to give you more bang for your buck with every private label rights package that you invest in. Now people buy PLR primarily to save time and most PLR comes in the form of articles. But what most people do is they'll take that article that they've bought, they might rewrite it a little bit, they'll publish it on their website and that's it. And you're really missing out if that's all you do. Now we're going to be using AI tools to accomplish this which is going to save us a huge amount of time. But before I show you that, I want to give you a chance to win a copy of one of my courses. If we head on over here, this is inside of the membership area of my conversion point course, which is all about making more money with email marketing, especially if you have a small list. If you'd like to win a free copy of this course, and I'll announce that in a video that's going to come out really soon, then all you'll need to do is first of all like this video, leave a comment below and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. If you do all of those things then in the next video that I make I'm going to do a live draw and someone's going to win a free copy of this course and as you can see this is a really good course and if you want to build a list or you have a list already then this is really going to show you how to make a better ROI with that list. So with that being said let's go back to the main topic of this video. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to use one of the PLR packages from my video content PLR site. We'll scroll down and I'll choose the essential oils package. So we'll click on this and we can download either the articles or we can download the entire file which includes videos and avatars and keywords. But we're just going to keep this nice and simple. So I'm going to download the articles here. You can see they download as a zip file and we'll just double click and we'll open this up and we'll choose one of these articles as an example. Let's choose this, the best essential oils for sleep. We all need a good night's sleep. So once this article has opened up inside of a Word document, we're going to be able to turn a simple article into multiple pieces of content. There we go, there's the article here. So let's just kind of drag that across. We'll bring this out. Um, if we scroll down, we can see this is a really well written article, 1,345 words with a lot of references here. But what people will do, as I've said, they'll take this article and they'll just use it as is, or they might rewrite bits of it and publish it on their site. So rather than just do that, we're going to do a lot more. So first of all, let me minimize this and we're going to head on over to an artificial intelligence software which you may have heard of, it's called Jasper. And we're going to come here down to the templates section and there are various different things that we can do with our content. Now not all of this is going to be relevant but let me just scroll down and give you an example. So the first thing as I mentioned is we'll probably want to rewrite that piece of content. So we can click on content improver and then we can take a section of the article. So let's take a section of this. Let's take this introduction here. We'll copy this and we'll come here and we'll paste that in here. We won't touch anything else. We're going to leave it as is. Of course, if you do want to change the output, you can, but we're just going to leave it as it is and hit generate. And what this software is going to do, it's going to basically paraphrase this piece of content and it gives us three different versions. So we can read through and decide which one that we would like to use. So let's pretend that we want to use this one. We can copy this one and then we can head on over to a third party tool called Copyscape. We can paste that in. There's a little space there so I just want to get rid of that. Hit premium search and just to double check. So we can see that there were no results found which is great which basically means this is unique content and it's not taken from somebody else's website. Now we can take this piece of content as it is and we can use this to reword our new article and we can go through and do this paragraph by paragraph but we could also use this in a different way. We could use this as a Facebook post. We could use this to potentially start off a tweet. It's going to be a little bit long for a tweet but there are bunches of things that we could use this for. Let's go back over to templates and let's scroll down and see what else we can do. So we've got the content improver. 
email subject lines. Now click on this and let's talk about the email. What is this email about? So this email is to educate people on essential oils and how they can help us sleep better. That was the topic of the article. We'll hit generate. Okay, and now we have three potential email subject lines which we can then use to begin to craft an email to our list. And this one even includes a nice little emoticon. So now we've got a blog post that we could potentially reword. We've got an email subject line. Let's click on templates again and let's see what else we can do. Um, we could even do a creative story. So let's click on creative story. Okay. Let's plot. We've got to put in a plot. So we've got to think a little bit outside of the box. So let's go back to our article. Our article is about best essential oils for sleep. So I'm going to say, say Adam is stressed at work and suffers from a lack of sleep. Then he found this amazing new essential oil. And let's just have a look and see how this goes. Let's click generate and see what kind of stuff. People love stories when it comes to email marketing. If you can tell stories and then segue into a marketing message, whether that be to sell an affiliate product, your own product, or just to get people to click through to read an article or watch a video, that's great. So we could take one of these and we could start to create a story or have Jasper create a story. So let's... Um, click on this one. Okay, and we can open this in docs. So let's open this up. And what we can do here is we can then have the story, you know, go forward. So let's have a look. Adam had been feeling overworked and stressed at work lately, blah, 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 blah. The oil helped him get a good night's sleep and he's stressed. Okay, let's get rid of that. He decided to give it a try period. Uh, but, and let's see if we can hit compose and see if we can get anything else into the story. There we go. So, but to his surprise, the, the oil worked almost immediately. After just a few minutes of diffusing it in his home office, he felt calmer and more relaxed. Okay, so diffusing it in his bedroom. Um, Adam started to use the essential oil regularly and soon found himself feeling more rested, relaxed and energised throughout the week. Um, wondering what oils can help you sleep? Click the link below to check out our brand new article and then you can take them to this article that you've reworded and get more eyeballs on your content. Let's minimize this. So let's go back to the templates section. So you can see just by using a really, really cool tool like this, without much effort, we're able to create different kinds of pieces of content. So we've done a story, we've rephrased it, we've got an email subject line. Maybe we want to get more eyeballs on our content by running a Facebook ad. So let's click on Facebook ad headline. Um, company name, obviously you'd have to you know, put your company name in here, but product description. So I might put essential oils that can help you get a better night's sleep. Now this is not a product, we can send people to content. Um, tone of voice, we'll leave it as it is. Let's hit generate or company name. So I'm going to put best fragrances. This would just be the name of the blog or the website or the e-commerce store where your content would be published. Let's hit generate. Okay, don't spend another night resting and re don't spend another restless night tossing and turning. Try best fragrances, essential oils for a better sleep. We could pick one of these and then we could add a little bit more to it to potentially create a Facebook headline. Let's click templates and go back. Facebook ad text, obviously we can do that. Similar kind of deal with um, Google ads as well. Let's come down and see if we can find anything else. Generate a numbered list based on a topic. Brilliant, so let's do that. Topic is essential oils for a, what's the actual post title? Let's grab that. Best essential oils for sleep. Uh, list count, how many paragraphs do you want? Let's just do three for now and we'll hit generate. 
This could even be something that we could incorporate into an article. It could be another article that we have. It really depends. We'll just wait for this. It's taken a little bit while. There we go. Lavender, chamomile, bergamot. Okay, and then we've got three variations. So we might find that one of these oils is not mentioned in our article, so we can even use this to make our article bigger and better. Let's go back to templates and let's kind of come down and see what else we could potentially use. Um, paragraph generator could potentially use that. A perfect headline, maybe we could do that. A LinkedIn post, I'm not sure if we'd be able to use that. A Pinterest pin. Okay, this is cool. Let's click on this. Obviously, we're going to need to have an image related to that particular topic, but Pinterest pin, well, what was it? Best essential oils for sleep. Keyword might be essential oils for sleep. I'm not sure if we're going to have to use a company or product name, but let's hit generate. And now we could get, look, we've got a Pinterest pin title and description. Or we, if we have an image that we can add to our Pinterest account, which could then link back to our blog post, we could incorporate this. We haven't had to think of what to write. Jasper has done it for us. Again, we're saving time and we're also, you know, not putting much thought into this. So we're saving our brain from getting a headache, trying to come up with different ideas. What else have we got? Cora answers. Brilliant. Let's click on that. Question. What are the best essential oils for sleep generate? Can we get some answers that we could then potentially add to Cora? If somebody is in Cora asking a similar question, we could use this to answer. And then if we wanted to, we can say, there's a great article I've found here to you know, learn more about this subject matter if you want. And then you could link to your article from Cora. And oftentimes, Cora questions and answers can rank on the first page of Google. And this is a really, really quick way to come up with good quality answers. You do, of course, want to make sure that you know the subject matter and the answer is decent. It's not something that is blatantly wrong. But again, it's a great way to do it. What else can we do? Let's come down here. We've done Pinterest. We've done Cora answers. I've not tried this ridiculous marketing idea, sentence expander, blog post title and meta descriptions. So maybe you want to have a meta description for your blog post. Let's click on that. Blog post title. Um, let's see. Let's go and grab just the introduction and see if that works. OK, that's cool. Let's hit generate. Oh company name. Okay, the blog post name. So best. This isn't a real company, by the way. I'm just thinking of something to put in here. Generate. Okay, blog post title. Generate. Let's see what this comes up with. Now we've got a meta description that we can add to our WordPress post. Let's come back here. Let's scroll down, see if we can find anything else that we could potentially use. Great, a video. Now, again, with the video content PLR package that we have, we can actually use their videos. But if you want to, you can have a video description. So let's click on video description, video title, essential oils for sleep. And let's say the best and then make that a capital B, hit generate. We could then get a description that we could copy and paste into our YouTube video description. Now, if we uh, click back on templates and we go down to that YouTube section here, isn't going to magically rank like it says here, but it is going to save you time, copy and paste the description in. And obviously you could also go through and get a video script outline, a title, a hook as well, and even get ideas you know, for pretty much creating the actual video. If we come up here, this is in beta, but it's a tweet machine. So let's click on tweet machine. What is your tweet about the best essential oils for oops oils for sleep let's click on generate see what it pops up with it's in beta so it takes a little bit longer i guess to provide something but look at this we've got all of this information here then we can take this and we can start tweeting it out so what i'd probably do is take that first section here it's even got hashtags which are really really cool because they can become clickable on twitter and I'd probably tweet this on my profile along with a link to a video on YouTube or a blog post. 
and then I will reply to my own tweet with some of this stuff here. Maybe not all of it, I'd pick and choose the bits that were relevant to my article. With Twitter, you are limited in the number of characters per tweet, and you'll not be able to tweet all of this at one go, but you can reply to your tweet with more information, and it's just a great way to continually, you know, post to your Twitter account, and like all social media networks, being consistent is important. But just by using something like Jasper, it's providing you with a bunch of tweets that you can use. So as you can see, by taking one article and by using the power of this particular AI tool, you can really get a lot done. It saves you immense amounts of time and it really allows you to be a prolific content creator across multiple places without having to manually write everything yourself. If you had to do it manually, honestly speaking, you just couldn't do it because you wouldn't have enough time. You might do it once or twice, but you wouldn't be able to do it consistently over a long period. If you want to check out Jasper, I'll leave a link below. If you want to check out the video content PLR site, I'll leave a link below to that as well. Any questions, let me know. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.